On most Friday nights this time of year, high school football takes center stage. But this Friday, there's something else stealing the spotlight. So this Friday night, you're looking for two big football victories. We are. We are. We would love to obviously Notre Dame Academy football to win their game to go 3-0. and And we're, uh, we're hoping the Packers can get their season started off on the right foot. Notre Dame Academy's game against Sheboygan North, originally scheduled for 7, moved to 4 o'clock in hopes that the team will not lose fans who may choose to stay home and watch the Packers instead of coming out to Friday Night Lights. Trademark, I guess, in, in our society that Friday Night Lights is, is, is important to school communities and, you know, we try to do our part. After their football game, some of the players may head out to Tidal Town, where flags are getting hung and decorations are getting put up in preparation for a Packers game viewing party expected to attract thousands of fans. Our whole goal here is to cheer loud enough that they can hear us down in Brazil. We have a fantastic fan base who really shows up for our team. They show up for our community. While some have made adjustments to work around Packers kickoff, it's business as usual at the Green Bay Botanical Gardens for a concert they have planned for Friday night. We want to be respectful of our our performers, we know that our community loves this event and we know that there is more than just the Packers in Green Bay. Green Bay Botanical Garden officials will still have their Brews, Bistros and Bonfires concert featuring an Eagles tribute band on Friday night. They say that despite the Packers game, the concert has nearly sold out. In Green Bay, Paul Stino, Local 5 News. For more information about the watch party at Titletown or the concert at the Green Bay Botanical Gardens tonight, please visit our website, wearegreenbay.com.